Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I'm going to share with you guys what I keep in my purse here. This is a purse I bought at Target and I adore it. It's like the perfect size. I think it's still available. I'll link it below on their website. I bought it in store and I know they have a couple of shades. So I bought the black because I figured it's really travel friendly. I've already traveled with it and it was so perfect to keep my important stuff in. But then I could also take it and stuff it into a larger carry-on bag. So that way I wasn't carrying a crossbody purse and the carry-on bag. You know what I mean? It's one of those little things that I do every time I travel, but this is probably the best crossbody bag I've had for that purpose. But I also use it in my everyday life. So I do have a one-year-old and so I usually have a diaper bag with me. But this is one of those that it's not so big and bulky that I mind having it on like crossbody while also having a small diaper bag. This size is a really good option. So anyway, like I said, I'll link it below, but let's get into what I keep inside. It's actually a little bit messy. <laughs> I feel like these videos make me feel of, like think of old school YouTube so I just like low-key love them. So first things first is this wallet I actually bought at like a supermarket <laughs> like a grocery store. It's one called Meyer. If you live kind of in the Midwest Meyer is in a lot of those states including the one I live in and I literally saw this near the checkout line like near the clothes and I was like I love it. It's so happy for spring and summer. It was like you know 10 or 15 bucks but I liked that it was decently thin of a profile and it's not super big but it's a little bit bigger than like the really slim wallets that I've had in the past and I also like that it had a button that I can make sure that it's shut. The only thing this doesn't have is like a change purse area and I always used to look for that in wallets until I had the realization that I never carry around change. So I was like, why do I care? If I ever get random like quarters, I keep it in my car for the next time that I go to Aldi because I feel like I'm always without. So I don't have to have it in my wallet. You know what I mean? So there's that. I just really like the size. I don't know that I'll be able to find this exact wallet. I will look, but I really do like it. I have the keys to my car. I actually don't keep really any other keys. The other keys I'll sometimes throw in here would be like my house keys and stuff like that, but we kind of keep those hanging elsewhere so that we can both use the same set. So um, I used to have like a big thing of keys out of all the loyalty cards and all that, and it would take up so much room, they would get so dirty. A lot of those loyalty cards, I've just downloaded the app for them. So if you have that connected, you don't need those cards if you have your phone with you. Um, next thing in here are my sunglasses. So. This pouch, I actually bought a three pack of these on Amazon. I've realized that when I have small purses, which is almost always, I wanna have my sunglasses somewhat protected from like just scratches, but I don't necessarily need a big hard shell case because A, that would take up this entire purse. But also, you know, I'm pretty careful with my purse. I'm not setting it in places that it's gonna get stepped on or sat on. So I'm not as worried about it being super protected, but I just wanna make sure that things aren't just scratching the lenses all up. So they have different colors of these like kind of microfibery, not microfiber, but these kind of soft cotton sacks on Amazon for really, really cheap. You can get like, this is light pink. They have like nude, black, all kinds of colors. Um, but I always keep inside a cloth to wipe off my lenses because I feel like not only for my own sunglasses to be able to wipe off smudges, but I feel like I'm always around people and like Tyler will be like, oh, do you have a lens cleaning cloth? And we're like on the go and he's wearing his glasses. I'm like, yes, I do. So I just stick it in there. And then my sunglasses were quite a splurge, but I get a lot of questions about these exact ones I'm wearing. So I will link the exact ones. I just love them. I feel like they look stylish. They're not so big for my face, but they're not so small. Like I feel like they're a good size and they're really, they are well made. I've had this for quite a while and I've had no issues. So. Next thing in here are my lip products. And these are ones that have been living in my purse for quite a while. <laughs> I got a lot of trash in here. First up is this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I have the scent Pear. Uh, I also have Berry and I think one other one. I keep them in various areas. So Pear just happens to be in my purse. But it really, it's like if you mix a lip balm and a gloss, you get this because it looks nice and glowy on the lips. It smells amazing, but it's also moisturizing for your lips. So it's kind of a nice combo when I wanna quickly feel put together. I can just glide this onto my lips and it looks nice. Again, it's clear, there's no color to it, but I just love it. And the smell pear, it smells like actual pears. These are about 15 bucks, but I, absolutely adore these. I love all of the scents that I own. The other lip product I've been using like crazy for really a few months, and it's probably one of my favorite purse lip products, is from YSL, so it's pricey, but it's their Voluptu Liquid Color Balm, and I have it in the shade number 12. And it's just this 
slightly sheer with a little bit of color, balmy, glossy kind of thing. But what's bizarre about this formula is I feel like it like melts in with my lips. And so after about two minutes of having it on, it just looks healthy and plump and flawless. This isn't a plumping formula, but there's something about the way that it looks that I feel like it makes my lips look younger and plumper, and I just adore this. It's not cheap, but I've been using this for months, almost every single day, and I'm it's still kicking. I just love it, and I love that particular shade, number 12. It does have a slight, almost like melony scent, but it doesn't bother me. A lot of times, like cucumbery scents will bother me, but like this one, it doesn't bother me as much. Um, I have a hair tie. This, I always have a hair tie in my purse because if you deal with a lot of hair, you have to have a hair tie. But this particular kind is my favorite. It's the only kind that doesn't give me a headache as easily. It's really good if you've got a little bit thicker hair or just more, maybe longer hair. I really love them. I think the brand I got is Goody, so they're not expensive, but I did find these on Amazon. I can link as well. I have some just bare tissues. It's allergy season, and so I literally just like folded up tissues from just our tissue box at home and brought them along with me. I guess I could get a real pack, but I feel like it's harder to find the packs that have the lotion in them, and I'm a snob about it because my nose, like I'm a baby about my nose. I hate when it gets all raw. Ooh. I also have my AirPods in here. Best investment I think I've ever made. <laughs> I was on the fence, but I was like, you know what? I run a decent amount. I go to the gym a decent amount. But not only that, but you can do phone calls on this. So if I'm folding clothes and wanting to talk to someone on the phone and watching Gigi, I can do all of that. And so it just, it serves so many purposes in my life. I can wear them when I'm editing and that way I'm not waking her up just like two rooms over where she's napping. There's so many benefits to this. And so they were expensive, but I feel like I can continually recharge them in this for like over a week, sometimes two weeks, depending on how much I'm using them. And I don't have to recharge the little thing. They are amazing. They are amazing. And to be honest, I kind of thought they were dumb when they first came out, but they're amazing. And I feel they don't like flop out of your ears. Like I was worried about like if I'm running, aren't they gonna like move around? No, they stay exactly in place. Um, I have a hand cream in here. This is from The Body Shop. It is their Shea hand cream. I really, really enjoy this. Another hand cream I love and I haven't had in a long time is the Waleda Skin Food. I really like that. I could see myself when I'm through with this buying that one again, like a small size to keep in my purse. I feel like that one's even more moisturizing, but this one is very nice too. It has a very slight scent but it's nice and moisturizing, especially in the fall and winter when my hands get really dry, this sees a lot of action. I have gum in here, um, juicy fruit. It's really good. I wish the flavor lasted longer, but it is good. <laughs> this I've had for years. I think if you saw like my what's in my bag from like five years ago when I first started my channel, like probably first few videos started my channel, it's still up. If I can find it, I'll link it below. I bet I mentioned this. This little pill pouch I bought on Amazon, I literally keep in it like ibuprofen, um, looks like I've got Allegra in there and some Pepto. Like things that you might need on the go that you're glad to have, you know what I mean? So I, and they're just kind of mixed in there but they look different enough that I, I can tell the difference. And every few months I'll take everything out of there and make sure I'm using it up so it's not just getting going bad. But it's amazing, I need to get a new one. This one's kind of dirty and despite how much I try to clean it, so I think it might be time to replace, but this little thing is amazing to have it. Again, it takes up no room, but you can have whatever it is you might need throughout the day with you at all times. I've got some mint wrappers. I've got some formula coupons <laughs> that have probably expired. Oh, I do have a little bit of change in here. Every once in a while, like I said, I don't usually carry change around. So if it's like dimes and pennies, I'll put it in my daughter's little piggy bank. So I have a couple more items in this little like zipper pouch inside. I do keep a couple of makeup items with me oftentimes just because if I am out for the entire day and I want to do some touch-ups I like to be able to do that so one thing I like to keep is one of my favorite concealers this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer I somehow realized like a month and a half ago that I have two in the same shade so I thought perfect I can put it in my purse so I've been using it that way and this is one of those formulas of concealer that I feel like I can get a little bit on my finger and just tap it right there on my under eye and it can instantly brighten but it doesn't necessarily mess up any foundation or powder I might have already had. It kind of just melds well with other makeup. So I feel like it works well for touch-ups. Um, I can also, like if I was just wearing a BB cream and I've got like really some redness peeping through, I can grab a little bit and dab it in and it just kind of seamlessly blends in with the rest of my skin. So this is an old favorite. I don't think it's like the creamiest concealer in the world. I think the name is a little bit misleading 
but I do really like it. It blends in so quickly with your fingers, which is why I've traveled with it a lot and I, I really do like it. It's, I haven't quite found a drugstore concealer that's exactly like this. I have drugstore concealers I adore. They're just not the same as this. They're just different kinds of concealer. I also have this RMS Beauty Living Luminizer in here. This was a more recent addition to my purse. I treat this as a highlighter, but it really is more of like a glossy, dewy face gloss. I mean, I know I use gloss twice, but you just get a little bit on your finger and it kind of looks like it's a white tone but it adds this glossiness to your skin that I can put a little bit on. I'm already kind of dewy, but it adds this kind of glass-like quality to your skin that I think is so, so beautiful. Oh, I just love it. And it's one of those you don't need a brush with it. You just use your finger and it's small, it's compact. I can tap it onto my brow bone. I can tap it right above here and it just adds this luminescence that makes me look awake. And especially if I've been out and about and maybe my skin's looking a little dull, a little dry, I can pop just a little bit of this in strategic areas and it looks great. This is another one that looks good on your Cupid's bow. Looks really pretty. Ugh, ugh, I love it. They have different shades. Master Mixer I used to have and it's a little bit more champagne-y, but it's a similar effect. I don't think it's quite as glossy. Um, this one really is kind of its own thing. But the white is translucent, so don't feel like if you have a deeper skin tone than me that you can't use this because it's not coming across white. Just make sure you're really tapping it in. The other beauty product I keep in here, and I kind of trade it back and forth because I use this all of the time, but I also use it on the go all the time, is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This has seen some serious love for me. One of my favorite ways to use this is literally if my nose is looking a little bit red or just a little bit oily, I'll literally take some on my finger and I'll just tap it onto my nose. I can tap it like if my chin's looking red. It adds just a slight bit of coverage. It covers a little bit of oil. Um, I don't feel like I have to have a powder puff with this and it's just lovely. Another one I used to keep in my purse that I would totally recommend is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. I think that one had just gotten a little bit old and I was like, you know, I've had this for quite a while. It was time to just pass it on. Really, I think I threw it away because it was old. So this is kind of taking its place, but I don't feel like it has to be the Charlotte Tilbury. It could be any pressed powder for that. Side note, this is amazing on the under eye. Oh my gosh, I love it. So another thing I keep in there is this little rollerball of perfume. These are actually decently priced. They're from Target. I've talked about it a couple times on my channel. The brand is Good Chemistry and the scent that I picked out is Sugarberry. Um, they have a, quite a few, I want to say like six or seven different scents and you can smell them at Target and then they have like a full size perfume and then they have the rollerball and I want to say this was around 10 to $15 give or take, which is not crazy for a rollerball. This one is incredibly sticky sweet. So if you don't like that, you wouldn't like this, but they had other scents too. And I feel like this is a good option because sometimes high end perfume rollerballs can be so expensive and for something that's just going to be kind of knocking around in my purse and I just want to have for when I just need a little pick-me-up or I need to smell a little bit fresher. This is perfect, it smells so sweet. I know there's another scent called Bluebell that a lot of people like. I haven't smelled that yet, I wanna smell that next, but love this, I've traveled with this as well, it's good. I feel like the scent lasts pretty well. I don't think it lasts all day, but again, if you have it in your purse anyway, you'd be able to retouch up if you wanted to. The other thing, of course, my phone. It's downstairs right now, but I actually oftentimes will slide it into this side pocket so it's easy to grab. You know, I might plug it in when I'm in my car, so I wanna be able to grab it quickly. But other than that, you know, everything fits in here no problem at all. It's more than enough stuff. I used to keep so much in my purse. And you know, I've recently realized how often was I grabbing for those items? The reality is when I answered that truthfully, I knew that some of them I had literally never used. I just had it in there just in case, but that just in case time never happens. And the other thing is things like hand sanitizer and baby wipes, I have those in my diaper bag anyway if, we, if I needed it for a spill or just to clean my own hands. I have that in a different place, but if I didn't have that, I probably would have at least hand sanitizer in my bag just for that purpose. So I hope this was enjoyable for you guys to watch. I love these old school videos. They just, they're nostalgic and they're also just interesting. And actually the thing that spurred me to do this again here on my channel was because I was reading like, I was at like the doctor and I was looking at like Us Weekly or People, whichever one does it. And they did like a celebrity what's in my bag. And I was like, Oh yeah, that's like my favorite article to look at even today, but I loved it when I was younger too. Just to see like what beauty products are they using? What kind of wallet do they have? Those kinds of little fun things. So that's why I wanted to do it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, I hope you'll subscribe to catch more of my beauty and lifestyle videos here on my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.